on the campus of Columbia University taking the kids on a tour with my brother right there who works at Columbia there are the kids Mariam my mom so let's see what we see Always crying because of the cold. They're named after a lot of um, people from the colonial uh, kind of like Kent Hall, right? Hamilton, John Jay, you know, all those people that founding fathers. I love these old buildings. This is an interactive, basically touch screen if you want to get around like a map or what have Right. Columbia University it was really nice exploring this campus. It's beautiful at night. Look at that. Hello, everybody. Hello. Me and my brother. We're going out to today to NYU. I think we're going to tour NYU. Mariam would like to see NYU today. So that's what we're doing. It's kind of rainy and cold, but... It's a little chilly. And Ke uh, Bashir here got us up early, super early. Eight o'clock this morning. Eight o'clock this morning, crazy. Anyways, 12 noon. Hopefully we'll get out. You guys think I'm silly, right? Look at this, look at this. Okay, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> <laughs>
crossing the road. Was it here? NYU. That's good. We'll go in there. Good old reflex hammer. Can't run from these. I guess this must be. They have a tuning fork here. Huh. Cool. Welch Allen. They have everything in here. The lab coats for med students and even chef coats. Look at that. Look at these dolls. What? That's cool. Yeah, that's me. Cleopatra. Where's Khalid? Watch me fall down. Watch me fall down. The fame game. So I'm in my brother's car. I just came back from McDonald's. Had to take Mariam um, to the restroom. We get this, so we go into the uh, McDonald's. This is the one right in front of NYU, Washington Place area. And um, yeah, corner of Washington Place. And uh, we go in there and the guy, security guy, I didn't know it was the security. I stand online to use the restroom and the security guy's like, uh, only paying customers can use the restroom. So I look at him and I'm like, well, who knows? Who knows that I'm not a paying customer? He's like, I know. So I'm thinking, oh shit, I guess this guy works here, big tall black guy. So uh, I kind of smile and do my little girly thing and then all of a sudden he's like, uh, what's wrong with your glasses? I was like, yeah, my glasses are crooked. I need to go and have them adjusted. So he's like, oh, hand them over. I'll fix it. So I take them off, complete stranger, and I hand them to the guy. I trust him, because that's how I am. <laughs> and I hand him the glasses, and he fixes them. So I look at him, and I'm like, okay, so now you're gonna let me use the restroom, right? My daughter really needs to use the restroom. He's like, okay, baby, I'll let you. So uh, I let her go in, or he let her go in, and I waited. So we're taking turns. Can you hear all that beeping? That means the cops are not too far away. And I'm sitting in the van, in my brother's van, um, while he goes into McDonald's right now for a minute. So hopefully I won't get a ticket or he won't get a ticket. <laughs> But um, it's been really cool hanging out in New York City as usual. This is always gonna feel like home for me. Always gonna feel like home. And I love being around my brother and my brothers. I have two brothers as you can see. I love being around my mom. 
um, it's still this push-pull thing you know I like North Carolina and there's a lot of positives and there are a lot of things that help and make our life a lot easier especially when you have children but there's always this like pulling at my heart that New York City feels like home my mom says though that um, living in the south has spoiled me because I'm not the earliest person and I um, you know maybe a little bit more laid-back than many New Yorkers but I adapt I've lived in California I've lived in New York City on and off I've left I've come back I've left I've come back so who knows what the future holds um, maybe in the future I might come back to New York City oh shit there's a fire guy so see y'all see the fire truck right right next to me hopefully luckily Uncle Bashir is coming back so he can move his bad I don't know I think somebody might have had something going on in the bookstore and all of a sudden here comes the truck and I'm freaking out all right it is really coming down wow really coming down swing around yeah let me see the front Ooh, it looks cute I think I did a decent job. Where's your, all your sparkles? <laughs> and you guys wonder why I'm vain? <laughs> Look where it comes from. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> of course we know it's a joke. Guess who's in the front? We would never let him drive. Not yet. Not yet. No, 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 no. I think you need a certain level of emotional maturity yes he's book smart but I think he needs some more emotional maturity and I know there are parents out there that might disagree that he's 17 he should be in the car front but I don't think so really at 15 well good luck to them good luck to them I don't want to bury my son I don't want to bury my son so he will not be driving anytime soon maybe when he gets out of college Kareem, maybe, Kareem. Kareem, maybe, right, Kareem? Yeah, that cool and calm disposition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Because it's true, though. I need some training. It's not emotional training. The reason why I'm nervous is because I don't know anything. Mommy got distracted, she's at the vegetables. Bashir and I are gonna go get some oxtail. Say something, I like your accents. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you from? From Barbados. Barbados. Oh, that's yeah. what a Bayesian accent is, see? Yeah. So how long you worked here? Uh well next month, no, end of next month is gonna be a year. Oh wow. Uh, we, where did you move from? I used to be with Far Farm. Oh, okay, yeah, Pathmark. But yeah. where did you move from? Like before Queens. But I, I still live in Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. I oh, okay. From Brooklyn to come here. Oh, well, nice Park. meeting you. Yeah. <laughs> Harassing him at work. Really? Thank you. We're about to enter this cold area. Look at this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. So it's kind of cold in here. Wasn't that guy a nice guy? He was such a nice guy. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus. Look at me and my brother. I'm going to miss my brother when I go back to North Carolina. What <laughs> good looking. Look at all this meat. Look at all this meat. All right, so what are we getting? So we're gonna get on. 
Okay, spiral ham if you want ham. Look at all this. Salami, what is this? Smoked ham. Um, okay, fresh chicken wings by the bag. And come over here, chicken legs. What? They buy these big bags. More pork. Is that more pork? Oh no, that's beef. Meat and more meat. Meat and more meat. But I think I see a lot more pork than anything else. Wait, wait, wait. This is beef. This is beef. Look at that. Now tell me this doesn't look delicious. This looks delicious. What? Couldn't be in a Caribbean store and don't find what? Some scotch bonnet. Tons of scotch bonnet. Oops. Scotch bonnet, scotch bonnet. Okay. And of course, some thyme. Lots of thyme. Okra. <laughs> Alright, let's look at all this pretty fish. Let's see, what's this? Jamaican butter? What is that? That's not called Jamaican butter. Red mullet. Oh, okay. Not one for seafood, but I like that. The sure is waiting for the meat to get cut. You see that? I'll cut it for you. Closer. In hand, look at that. So this is an entire oxtail. Wow. 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Versus $240 if you bought it in a restaurant. Right. Wow. I, I never noticed the Jamaican flag up here. Look at the big line now. What? Look at the line. You don't have that much to go with on Zero grams of trans fat. Cranberry juice? I don't like it. It's good for you, but I don't like it. Yeah, it's very good for your bladder. 